Hey my ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. I hope everybody's having a lovely weekend. I'm having a very lazy day today. Uh, celebrations yesterday, out late. And so I've just had some time at home and I thought, thought that being as Ostara is coming up in a few days, I would clean my altar, change a few things around. Now, I've seen a few people, I've seen Sandra's and I've seen Cecilia's. Uh, lots of people are showing their Ostara altars in the Hermit's Cave Facebook group as well. And I don't make huge changes because my altar space has the main stays really. So um, it's just the little things like colors of candles, flowers, um, my Sabbat cards that, that change. So I think though, the last time I showed this, I had my moon and sun goddess on here. So, and now I've put abundance, my goddess for abundance back here in the middle. Um, but I'll just talk us through a few things and it might be the first time you're even um, watching. So this is my Gaia. As you can see, she's got her flowers. I love her heart on the inside. Absolutely beautiful. I do use a real tea light. I keep a very close eye on it though, because um, it gets too hot. I don't want any damage to her, but she's a Philippa Bauer. Uh, piece and I bought her in Glastonbury last year. This is the crystal my mum bought me, very significant because she bought me many crystals before she passed. But that one was the first and it marked a significant shift from um, kind of our Mormon background to her accepting my alternative spiritual practice. These are the candle sconces, these glow beautifully in the night time, in the evening when it's dark and the metallic on the back is just gorgeous. Now I use the clear tea lights for everything and I was able to get some yellow ones. Um, in Sustring Granny, they had some pastel um, clear case tea lights and there's two yellow ones in there. Um, so I usually just use the clear case usual um, white candles but to get some yellow ones I've really really felt quite lucky to get them so that's kind of helped as, as well uh, in readiness for Astara. This is the Sons of Asgard Sabbat cards in rose petal really really beautiful and um, two different designs I tend to like the full colour ones these spectrum wheels of colour um, so that's out and then I've got my original altar cards. This one says, light and dark balance. Here is the rebirth, a time of creation for our mother earth. I think that's really beautiful. And these are the backs. So they've been swapped out. Um, yeah, so I mentioned my source. I'm not sure who, I bought this from the Goddess Temple Shop in Glastonbury. I don't know the artist who created this, but there's quite a few. And I bought it, not last year, the year before. And when I went back last year, there was lots of different colors and designs, but she feels very earthy, very clay and moss and very, yeah, really earthy. I got this, now this is beautiful. This is hand painted, it's very heavy and it's an egg. It's a painted egg, but this is a ceramic egg with some daffodils on. So I'll just pop that uh, there for now, but really, really beautiful. Um, I got my little uh, bunny candle holder, and this is a yellow candle again. So um, yeah, it's quite nice. I've got Titty Bunny, of course, my Mad March hair. It's got a little bit of damage look. This. Uh, this little bunny has been through the wars. She lost her head a couple of years when I glued it back on and then she fell over and there's a big chip on her nose, but I can't part with her. I just love her so much. And you know, we all love things with imperfections as well. Well, I certainly do. A couple of um, chalices. Um, this one I bought from Pendle Hill when I went in search of the witch trials of Pendle Hill. 
that one was from Sherwood Forest where that I bought last year with Sandra. I've got my cauldron. The sphere in front of my goddess um, is representing the moon, the energy of the moon. And female on the right, like the chalices, representing the feminine side. I've got some uh, chalice well water at the back there as well. She's also got a tea light in her inside. Um, it's all about fertility, isn't it, this time of year? So obviously I've got my fertility goddess, I've got Sheila and the gig, I've got uh, Sons of Asgard where I bought hair. Then on this side is the masculine representation and the sun. So I've got the moon represented there with this beautiful selenite sphere and this orange calcite sphere representing the masculine side. And then I have my athame. This is a beautiful athame. I've had this a couple of years now, bought it in Glastonbury. My flowers are changed up, so I've taken down my snowdrops that represent uh, represented Imolk, and I've got some um, daffodils. And I know lavender is technically a summer flower but i really like this and lavender can bloom there's two types of lavender one can bloom really early from spring but look it's in this little egg it's an eggshell with this lavender and i thought the contrast of the yellow and purple together was really quite beautiful so i've got my daffodils and lavender some hagstones at the back there my offering is from the ostara herb blend from sons of asgard I can't recommend them enough for getting sacred um, items and apothecary items. They're just, they're just wonderful. So yeah, just a quick, oh, my incense as well is Ostara. So I bought, is a 5 95 from uh, Sons of Asgard. I brought uh, one for each Sabbat minus Samhain because they'd sold out of Samhain when I went in November. So I'll try and pick some up later in the year, but these are great to light, especially when you're cleansing your sacred space and redoing it. A few people have also commented on the little kiln that I bought the other day to uh, light smudge sticks. This is very Ostara spring-like, isn't it? Um, and the, it's absolutely brilliant. I find with lighting these, you constantly light them because they go out. Whereas when you put it in here, it almost creates a bit of a vacuum and it's perfect. And you get a fantastic, fantastic aroma coming from your smudge stick. So this, this wasn't expensive at all. It's quite a large piece. Um, but I think, I think it was 10 pound, 10.99, something like that. But certainly no more than that. And yeah, I think it's wonderful um, to place your sticks in. So that's my altar for Ostara. I'm enjoying seeing everybody else's. Thank you for those who have shared yours. And yeah, until next time, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be. Mm -hmm.